So let's move over to college football for just a bit. Brian Kelly. Now, since you and I last spoke, Brian Kelly decided at some point, I don't know if he did it accidentally, it's kind of hard to accidentally share something on uh, on Instagram stories. I think you kind of have to have a purpose when you get in there. But, uh, but he shared a Twitter post on his Instagram stories that read like this. Uh, it was from at Stinky173. Uh, go ahead. That's a screen, it's a screenshot. It's a screenshot. Yeah. Of a tweet from 18 months ago? Yes. From Well, no, no, no. From uh, like three or four months ago. It's from January 4th, right, 2022. Okay. So, But the tweet happened a long time ago. And the yes. tweet was public knowledge, public information, out into the ethos. Everybody saw it, right? Yep. Yep. You got okay. that right. So here's the the Twitter name is at Stinky17302153, right? Just a generic Twitter name, whatever. And it was replying to uh, a big time uh, Irish, you know, finding Irish Twitter handle. It said, everyone who is connected with sources inside the current program knows that Notre Dame AD is retiring in two years along with President Jenkins. Jack wanted to please the people, so he didn't search for a coach and hired Marcus. Hope he made the right choice, but I doubt it. Now, Brian Kelly so last... These are not Brian's words. These are somebody else's words. Well, Brian somehow screenshotted 18 months ago. <laughs> that, well, four then, months ago, but regardless... Whatever. Yeah. Four months ago. It, but he screenshotted this, but here's the deal. Do we know that those are not Brian's words? Like, is there a possibility well, that this is Brian Kelly's I, burner account? I think, no, I think there's less than zero chance that, that, that this is Brian Kelly. Why would he screenshot his own tweet? Uh, you got to, me. Only to accidentally share it out later. I've never screenshot a tweet that I made. That, no, this is, you're 100% right about that. You're 100% okay, so right that, about so that. that. That goes against, the, and, I, and I don't know how to use technology. Brian Kelly and I are basically the same person when it comes to our abilities to use. He might be more advanced with this shit than I am. Okay, because he hangs out with eighteen-year-olds, and I don't. So, it's uh, who knows. I I doubt it. I doubt that. But uh, this this whole situation we saw last summer, Brian Kelly did say at a Notre Dame news conference or press conference or whatever that Marcus Freeman was going to be the next coach, and and then he of course it, everybody took it to mean he was going to be the next coach at Notre Dame. Everybody kind of followed up with that and was like, "Okay, are you saying you're about to retire? Like, what is going on here?" And it ended up coming to fruition. So this person says anybody who's connected inside the program knows that the AD and the president at Notre Dame are going to retire in two years and that Jack just wanted to please everybody so he didn't even do a search. He just hired in-house. What Do you think there's any truth to this? Uh, about that part, probably. That I think there that is. That wouldn't surprise me. That wouldn't surprise me at all. But... Once again, this is coming from some bullshit unnamed source. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, and you can never tell what to take seriously and what not to. I do find this interesting that Brian Kelly, who is as well connected inside that program as anybody inside of Notre Dame, uh, that he would have screenshotted this, right? Like, it, well, even, hang on now, you don't just screenshot things that you agree with. I I screenshot stuff all the time that I think is insane, and I send it to. To you guys, all and the that time, is true. And say, hey, you see, you see what these dumbasses are saying? Do you see what the rumors are going on around here? Like, look how moronic these people are. Like, we don't know that that conversation wasn't being had, and that's why he screenshotted and wasn't on his phone. Now, I'm not defending the man because I don't know anything about it, but I'm a, just the assumption that he screenshotted something is like he like is like affirmation of it that he agrees with these thoughts or that he might have possibly said them like that. I think you have to spin a big ass yarn to get that. You have to do some mental gymnastics to get there. Uh, okay, okay, I can, I can maybe see that. I think that I would believe if he was going to keep this on his phone, that because there's nothing that's funny or necessarily insane about this, right? No, nope. this is just somebody talking about hey. Anybody that's connected knows that these two guys so are going to retire. Let me tell you what I would do. So, so if you and me worked together, if you were the president of the University of Memphis, okay, and, and I was your old football coach and I left, and we have a good relationship, okay, and I saw this tweet, I would screenshot something like that and I would send it to you, 
And I'd say, you better be careful because word's getting out that you're thinking of doing this. I know you're probably not on Twitter because you're a 70-year-old man running a school and you're not doing this. But I see these things or somebody sent it to me. We don't know that he screenshotted it. True. You know, somebody could have sent it to him. And he saved it to send it to someone else. But no. that's, that's the conversation you and I would have if I saw a tweet like that about you. No, but what okay? you're saying, or though. Or if I had a relationship with Marcus, which I think Brian does. It's probably not a bad relationship. He, and yes. fact, he gave him a hell of a raise and a hell of a job opportunity. Okay? Um, this is true. And, and I would shoot it to Marcus. And I would say, hey, just, just know that everybody out there in Notre Dame is not your friend. So be real careful of the things you say and the things that you do and, and all this stuff and, and best of luck. You know, yeah, there's, there's no telling keeping you in the loop that things like, it, aren't there, always what they, the yeah, he, he could have sent it to the, the school president or to uh, Jack Swarbrick, or he could have sent it to Marcus Freeman. There is no telling. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it necessarily paints any of them in a bad light or anything like that. Um, I mean, obviously, you would hope that Marcus Freeman would be hired for his football acumen as opposed to sure. uh, he was just trying to make the fans happy, right? 100%. 100%. And it, but if you're, if you're trying to make the fans happy, honestly, you, you could do that by going out and doing a search and bringing in Luke Fickle or whoever. Like, whoever you brought in, I think, was going to make a lot of people happy anyway because I think a lot of people were dumb for Ryan Kelly. So the fact that he shared this out and then deleted it right after that is the well, I'm sure because it wasn't meant for for uh, public Instagram. consumption, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it I, look, yeah. blows my mind. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not a complicated thing. I got a lot of I got a lot of screenshots on my phone or a lot of things on my phone, and every time I try to tweet a picture, like I have to like look and recheck. Is this what I was wanting, trying to send? And is this going to go in the order I wanted to go in? Like, you know, just oh yeah, it's not it's not as easy for. Old. Gary, just not. No, no, it, it totally makes sense. Like I, the, I've got an iPhone, and it is complicated. <coughs> I, uh, I don't always know exactly what I'm, what I'm sending when I do it. So, it, hence why, you know, you you try and create photo albums, you try and do something to like keep stuff separated and all that kind of mess. Um, but it's, uh, it, it is a bit of a thing, right? It's trying to figure out what you're going to do with it. I, in this situation. I am very curious because we did have tell you this. we did have the slip so, of the tongue last so, summer, and and now we've got this. Well, I'm not worried about the slip of the tongue last summer. <laughs> I mean, you know, whatever. But like, uh, you know, we so me, you, and and our boys from Northwestern, because yep. John refuses to get an iPhone, just <laughs> absolutely refuses, and so I won't get in a group chat with him. So we went and found uh, WhatsApp. Right, yes. and I think because or somebody suggested that, which was great. When they everything they send to me in a picture, it goes to my photo album. So the chances that Brian Kelly might use something that is peer to peer encrypted uh, as a texting feature with a lot of people um, is probably pretty strong. That's a pretty good opportunity that I he, would imagine he uses that, and um, that that means somebody else could have sent him that screenshot, and it got on his phone. That is true. That is true. He may because, not have screenshot this at all. Because you don't have to save anything. I've got 19 million pictures of Scuzz's barbecue saved on my phone. <laughs> and my wife keeps asking, "What? What are these grills? When did you buy that?" It's like, uh, I did. That's not mine. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can uh, I can show you how to turn that off. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix that. Well, I don't. Well, I don't. But there, all right. So once again, I dumb dumb who doesn't really know how to use all this technology that's on my phone. These are, these are simple things. I really don't care. Nothing, n- <laughs> Unless Brian Kelly is the one that said these things, then, then then we've got a problem, okay? But I would find that to be hard to believe that – because here's the deal. He, he could do nothing but good things for Brian Kelly's reputation for Marcus to be a successful uh, head coach. Yeah. Because that means he's really good at hiring people, okay? That he gave somebody – uh, an opportunity on a monster, monster platform at Notre Dame, okay, that ends up being a very successful and good head coach. So it, it, there's there's just no re, there's no benefit for Brian Kelly for you know uh, hoping for Marcus's failure. That 
That's yeah, just I, I do agree with you. Uh, the only thing would be if if Brian Kelly could not win a national title there, and then Marcus Freeman does. I mean, that's the only oh, okay. the All only right. other step, right? All right, but then but then you got to look at well, Brian Kelly got us to this point, right? True, like, like he built at it. some point in time, Notre Dame was miles away, and Brian Kelly making the you know making the playoff or, or the BCS title game all of these times eventually you know now the next guy comes in and takes him over the hump so i don't i don't even know that's a huge knock on your resume a, you you got a point there you got a point uh the so, so the the idea of the twitter account by the way being uh being at uh stinky whatever it is uh the the twitter account was deactivated very shortly after Brian Kelly deleted the picture off of the Instagram, um, apparently you go back and look at some of the some of the tweets, and it's somebody that was it, basically he started tweeting a month after Brian Kelly left Notre Dame, and it was somebody that was uh, a huge apologist and supporter of Brian Kelly, and then of course it is so we don't know for certain. But it is very interesting that all of these things are are happening at the same time, right? Like we we have to at least admit that uh, because he he tweeted a lot of stuff. I mean, <laughs> there was there was a lot that was out there. Um, I, I would I would think that after something like this, the reason that Twitter account gets taken down is because that person is now being bombarded with tweets, which is why they would take it down. I can't like, speak to why it didn't exist before then. But but I can tell you why it would get taken down is probably because the uh, shit show that's coming their way now. Uh, very possible, very very possible. Uh, but who knows? Who knows? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B Giannini at Winning Cures, or you can email us Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.